So of course the moment that I stopped covering the game for a little bit, they decided to bring more dev responses. How amazing. So uh, let's get into the video. So just when I thought the well had gone dry, we have three more dev responses to show you. So the first one that we're going to be talking about is, will there be blind firing? I'm really pumped for this game. It seems like a game that's really down my alley. One detail that I've barely seen in tactical shooters is blind firing. The only game that I've seen this done with in first person is Red Orchestra 2. While it's only useful in few situations, it's a small touch that I appreciate. Will this be included at all in Ron? And the developer responds with, Escape from Tarkov does blind firing really well, but we won't be featuring it in Ready or Not. You know, I'm gonna say that I haven't seen so many blind firing. Like, I mean, Escape from Tarkov does it. I guess Red Orchestra, I've never actually played that game. I remember Rainbow Six Vegas too, you were able to do that kind of thing. Yeah, not that many, not that many games do blind firing now that I think about it. Alright, moving on to the next one. Which says, I made this trailer a while ago, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> So unfortunately, I can't play the rest of this because it is copyrighted, and um, it's just basically the same trailer as what they released, except with uh, this kind of music on it called Poison Rogue. I'm not, I'm not sure. It, it, actually, at the very end of it, it's just nothing but like a, a black screen just to play the rest of the song, I think. Yeah. But I mean, it got a dev response, so let's see what it says. And the developer says, this is great. All right, moving on to the next one. Let's see what we got. We got, uh, I just heard about a tragedy of a really bad troll game, Active Shooter. Thoughts about Active Shooter controversy? He wanted to make a SWAT sim that revolves around school shootings and a terribly bad idea. An option to play as a shooter, and oh boy did it fireball into a trash can from there on. I believe this will be an extremely hard topic to touch, even more so in America, with so many school shootings. I wonder what would happen if Australia didn't gun control, and we could have ended up potentially like America. I don't like to talk politics on my channel, but you know, it's one of those issues that's just like near and dear to my heart because, you know, I don't want something to happen to my little sister, you know, at a high school or anything like that. It fucking scares the shit out of me. So those of you that don't know about what this guy is talking about, in 1996, there was a mass shooting, about 35 people dead and 23 people wounded. And because of that, basically Australia banned all the guns and they haven't had one since. Uh, now here in the US, I'm not in favor of, you know, banning the guns outright, but I am in favor of smart gun re regulation like, you know, universal background checks, you know, waiting periods, you know, making sure that the, you know, guns don't end up in the wrong hands, you know, with p uh, people with mental disabilities and, you know, people that are on blacklists. One person that might slip through the cracks is probably like the Vegas shooter. Like he's someone that would slip through the cracks because he's just, he just seemed like a normal person. Like, you know, nobody suspected that guy and he just snapped. I think that something seriously needs to get done, but uh, I I'm not in favor of banning the guns outright and very moderate on the issue. But more importantly, how will Ron safely traverse the shallow waters from something that's an extremely sensitive topic? And the developer responds with, We obviously hope to mitigate those concerns, since you'll never ever play as a suspect in a school shooting. However, we're striving to make all missions at Ready or Not as realistic as possible, and as confronting as they are in real life. In truth, we're just going all out, without being gracious. These events are pivotal moments to a lot of officers on the force. It's not something we want to skirt around. You know, in a previous video, I had said that there's going to be a lot of sensitive topics in this game, and I don't know how they're going to skirt around some of these rules. Like, there's just been a fuckload of shooting, so... I mean, I hope that they keep it in the game, but, like, they have to keep it on the down low. Like, I think for people not to notice, it should be in the game, but that shouldn't be, like, their focal point, I feel like. Well, I hope you got your Ready or Not fix today, because this is where I'm going to mark the end of the video so be sure to like favorite and subscribe share it with your friends if you want to talk to me join the discord and i will catch you in the next one Bye bye <laughs>